Hello and welcome to Billy's Craft Room. This tutorial is part of my online workshop series, Adventures in Acrylics. For more information about this, please visit the blog. In today's film, I'd like to show you how to create a faux crackle effect. It's much simpler than the other methods for creating crackle, and it's nice and quick and simple to do. For this project, you'll need De Laroni gesso in white, a jar of water, a piece of rag to clean up, a tin plate to mix your colours on, a palette knife, I find these flat ones most useful, some scraps of car sponge. The acrylic paint I'm using is Windsor & Newton Galleria. This is their Flow Formula acrylic paint. The colours I'm using are Burnt Sienna and Burnt Umber. Using the palette knife, apply a generous coat of gesso to a piece of mount board. This technique is best done on a reasonably firm surface such as canvas or mount board because gesso isn't particularly flexible. Once you've completely covered the surface and while the gesso is still wet, dab into it using the flat side of the palette knife. This creates texture. You can vary how much crackle or texture this creates by using less pressure on the knife or letting the gesso slightly dry before you dab into it. Both these things will create a different texture. Continue until you have an effect that you like. Here's how the piece I've made looks so far. You now need to set it aside to dry completely before you move on. This is a good time to clean the palette knife or if you can't clean it straight away, make sure you put it straight into the jar of water. Here's two samples that I've crackled earlier. As you can see, each piece is quite unique and you have quite a lot of control over how large or small the crackle effect that you get. Gesso is white by nature, but you can add acrylic paint to it if you want a coloured base coat. To add some interest to the piece, I'm now going to add some burnt sienna. Pick up a small amount of paint onto the sponge and dab off the excess onto the tin plate. If you apply the colour by gently dabbing onto the surface, the paint will only catch on the raised areas. It's a good way to pick out the crackle detail. Here's how the piece looks at this point. If you want the paint to go into the deeper recesses, of the crackle more into the background then simply press a little firmer with the sponge. Always be gentle with the amount of paint that you apply. You don't want to go in with too heavy an application to begin with. Continue to add the colour until you have an effect that you like and then set the piece aside to dry before you move on. Now that the earlier layers have dried, I'm going back in with some burnt umber to build up some depth of colour, just to build a frame around the edge. This is quite a dimensional effect that this crackle creates, so it would be fine on canvases or for surface decoration, but it would probably be a little bit too dimensional for an art journal. Continue to build your colours until you have an effect that you like. I hope you'll give this technique a try. It's the simplest way I found of creating a crackle effect. Here's how the piece looks 
once it's finished. Experiment with different colour schemes and try adding acrylic paint to the gesso at the start for a coloured base. See you next time for more adventures in acrylics. For more inspiration, please visit the blog on www.billyscraftroom.co.uk.